The idea of privatization began to rear its head in Nigeria immediately after the first military coup in 1966, when it became obvious that a new political economy was inevitable. The federal government became a major player in the economy through the establishment of statutory corporations and private investment companies. The advent of indigenization decree in 1973 ensured the conversion of privately controlled international corporations in Nigeria into state-owned corporations. The consequence of this, however, was the proliferation of over 1,000 state-owned corporations in virtually all sectors of the economy. They were all operating without competition from the private sector. The bubble, however, busted in the early 80s when the international oil prices crashed and it therefore dawned on the federal government that the enormous amount of Naira being expended on these corporations annually could no longer be sustained. It became more worrisome when the profits of these organizations nosedived due to corruption and inefficiency. At this point, the involvement of the private sector in running the organizations became inevitable. Privatization thereby became the most viable economic solution to expand the Nigerian economy. The privatization of public enterprises was fully executed during the Olusha gonbasanjo led administration in 1999. During the period, the Bureau of Public Enterprises, BPE, was established, while the National Council on Privatization was also established as a supervising body of BPE. These two organizations were established through the promulgation of Public Enterprises Privatization and Commercialization Act of 1999. Let us look at all the public enterprises we have and let us identify those that we think can operate more efficiently in the realm of the private sector and let's get rid of them. That was the logic. That was the philosophy behind the privatization and commercialization decree of 1999. The privatization exercise in Nigeria since 1999 has been immersed in several technical complications. These complications range from lopsided assets acquisition and share purchase agreements to non-enforceable clauses and breach of share purchase agreements and assets stripping by some of the new owners of the privatized companies. Expected to, man to improve the environment of Volkswagen, produce uh, cars, pro give our people employment. You, ta you turn this yard into a, do a, a container terminal. You are importing rice, you are importing fertilizer, you are importing oil. These technical complications are products of several structural defects in the legal, policy and implementation frameworks of the exercise. The Senate Other Committee on Privatization and Commercialization, led by Senator Ahmed Lawan, swung into action by embarking on on the sports assessment of the privatized companies spread across the country. Their findings were shocking and most of them bordered on criminality. Based on their findings, the Senate Other Committee, which has been investigating the operations of the BPE since 1999 to date, submitted 45 recommendations, part of which include revocation of sale of 12 state-owned companies, including Daily Times of Nigeria, Transco Hilton, and Sheraton Hotels and Towers Abuja, Odoza, Aluminium Smelter Company, Ajaukuta and Delta State Companies, among several. We need to create employment for our people. We have so many security problems today in Nigeria because we are not able to give our teeming and very energetic youth something to do. So they misapply their, their, their strength. The lawmakers want the affected companies re-advertised for sale.